and welcome to the Penguin Rundown. My name is Zach Humphreys. We'll jump into it with men's basketball for you. They went 0-2 since last Tuesday, losing a couple tough road games. Uh, one to the Phoenix last Tuesday night, 71-65 was the final in Green Bay. They lost another close ball game in their bracket buster versus Austin P, 71-68. Again, Penguins lose by three, but the key stat, Penguins got out-rebounded in that one, 51-32. But this weekend, however, starting on Thursday night, the Penguins are back home for two pivotal games, which will help tell the story of where YSU's first round game will be played. Coming in on Thursday night, you have Wright State. That one will be starting at 7 o'clock for you. And then on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, the Detroit Titans come into town. The Titans playing a lot better basketball here in the second half of the season. If the Penguins were to take care of business, they will be playing at home next Tuesday in the Horizon League Tournament. Of course, you can follow YSUsports.com to stay current with that. Let's take a look at the men's standings. Valparaiso up top 13-4. and four. Remember, Youngstown State coming off a big win against Valpo about a week ago. But look at Butler. All the way back up into that two spot. They're playing well at the right time. A lot of things can still happen here in the final week. Here's the hoping the Penguins can work their way up top. Women's basketball dropped a few games at home this past weekend. Milwaukee and Green Bay came into town, but the Penguins again had chances in both of these ball games and have now have lost five in a row. But the Penguins losing all these games by three, four, and five points. Coach Bolden's got to be pleased, especially the way his team played against number 11 in the country in Green Bay. Should have had that one, could have had that one, but Green Bay gets it done over the Penguins in the final minute. It was a heartbreaker. They're going to finish up their season on the road, however. They're going to play a pair of games this weekend at Wright State on Thursday, at Detroit on Saturday afternoon, before finishing at Cleveland State on March 3rd. We'll take a look at the women's standings. Green Bay up top, only one loss, and that is to Detroit. Hats off to the Titans. They're also having a nice year. Baseball has started and they're still searching for their first victory as Sunday's game versus Bryant was canceled. The Penguins are currently 0-3 right now. Softball has also got underway in South Carolina. They're off to a 2-1 start right now after scoring 15 runs in their game versus Howard on Saturday. The Indoor Horizon League Championships will be taking place this weekend at the brand new Watts here on the campus of Youngstown State. The event will be held Saturday through Sunday, and tickets are available for just $10. Also, Swimming and Diving started their league championships. Follow the Penguins at YSU Sports on Twitter to see if Casey Hill will defend her three-meter diving championship in Milwaukee. And to catch everything going on in the world of Penguins athletics, again, follow at YSU Sports. My name is Zach Humphreys. We'll see you next time on the Penguin Rundown.